Hey there, boys and girls. Wow, it's been a little bit, hasn't it, since I've shown my beautiful face on camera to you beautiful people. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a review, to, to done anything YouTube, but don't, you know, life has gotten in the way again. Um, yeah, I've been meaning to do, been meaning to come back and do, do a vlog and, um and reviews and things but just at the moment i've just i think i've hit a bit of a creative block again um i haven't even been drawing again i don't know i've been looking you know at my, my pads that i got for christmas off my good bud smithy i've been you know every night i sit down on the sofa and i look at them and i think should i draw something or shall i draw something that's no can't be bothered so yeah i don't know it's one of those things that it's something that you know um everybody goes through these periods um you know they have kind of like a creative kind of prelapse if you want to call it that um just can't be bothered to do anything uh creative just um at the moment i'm just kind of lulled in a bit of a just work and try and kind of relax when i'm not at work and just indulge in stuff tv anime even i haven't watched any anime for a while either to be quite honest i've been more or less just watching a lot of um amazon prime um disney um disney plus um i'm currently on netflix at the minute trying to catch up with wednesday this the the, the adams family wednesday series um so yeah, I've just kind of just been working and just trying to chill out and uh, still seeing Smithy on a week on a Saturday. Uh, seeing Sam a couple of times over the past couple of weeks as well. Um, finally went to cinema for the first time in months last weekend, I think it was. Or was it the weekend before? Um, so yeah, it, you know, it's been one of those things. I've just I haven't been bothered to do anything. There's been some some films that I've been wanting to see at the cinema never ended up going to see which is not like me it's not like me um uh, i mean i love my films and everything but at the moment um re or recently since since coming into 2023 you know i haven't i've only been to cinema the cinema once and that is not like me at all uh, um <clears throat> usually the way it goes i'm usually at the cinema probably <sighs> I don't know, I'm probably at the cinema probably about maybe two times a month or something like that. Maybe maybe even more, depends what's on, I guess. Um I mean obviously there's some interest there's some good films coming out this year, so I probably will be uh I probably will be going to the cinema a little bit more often this throughout this twenty twenty three. Some films I definitely want to see. I mean obviously the new Ant Man films out, which I'm gonna go and see because whether people like these new films or the TV series, whether you like them or not, I understand some people are starting to get a bit bored of them. Um, and also, I think, you know, for me personally, I do think the quality is not as good. On, I mean, I've not seen Ant Man three, so for all I know, it might be a, it might be better, it might be all right. Um, I have seen, I finally checked out Black Panther two. Finally checked out Black Panther two um, on Disney Plus. Finally gone on there. Um, I didn't mind it. Um, I think Ant Man. I think the first Ant Man film was probably better, but obviously this was also part of a uh, Ant Man two. Oh, sorry, Ant Man. Uh, Black Panther two. Sorry. Um, I checked out you know, the the original Black Panther. The, the Black Panther the first one. Um, I didn't actually. I actually quite mind. I did actually like it. Um, when I first saw it at the cinema. Um, this film, Black Panther two. Personally, I did like it, but it was I just felt it was a little bit too long-winded. Um, but I understand what the idea of that film was about. Of course, it was to carry on the legacy of the Black Panther character. And also as a tribute to Chadwick Boseman, or whatever his name is, who sadly passed away in real life. Um, which, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, it, it was a film that had a purpose for it to be done, um, to try and keep the legacy of the act who played Black Panther alive and then to carry on the pass down the torch as it were. Um so yeah, 
But yeah, Ant Man. I mean, I've seen all the other. I've seen the other two. Ooh, bloody hell! I'm losing, I'm losing my grip on the camera. Um, I've seen the the the, the other two Ant Man films. I think for me, the Ant Man films and like that. I mean, I like I like uh, Paul Rudd. He, he does play. He, you know, he plays that character well. But he's not one of my favorite Marvel characters. Quite frankly, I, never, I didn't even know Ant Man was when the first one was was released. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of Marvel characters I don't actually know, um, or don't know much of or about. Um, it's like the the MCU films really kind of have kind of really in a in a way they have kind of introduced me to other characters that I've never really indulged in before or didn't even know about. Um I mean it I mean there's been some discussions when I've gone to see them in the in, in the past when I went to went been to see them when they were starting out with like phase one, phase two and so on. And I'm like, Guardians of the Galaxy. I've heard of them. I've seen a there was like a cartoon series that came out probably a year previous to the the film, the live action you uh, know the you know Chris Pratt and everybody, uh, with the when the first Guardians Guardians of the Galaxy film came out and I was like what the fuck is this and I was like a talking raccoon, and an alien and everything. I think is this gonna work on the big screen? And I went to see it and it actually surprised me. I actually quite enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I mean. I mean, like I say, I know of Iron Man, Captain America, Spider Man. I know of, I know, I know of the main ones that everybody pretty much knows about or recognizes. But there's some other groups in his. I mean, like I say, I mean, I'm not a comic book reader really. I don't, I don't read comic books all that often. Um, so I've missed out on a hell of a lot of, uh, a hell of a lot of stuff and characters and things that have been introduced over the years and everything. So. But it's thanks to the MCU, you know, in one respect, that I've come to know a lot of these different groups of characters. Um, but, I mean, I am interested still but with the MCU stuff. Um, I'm intrigued about this whole, you know, obviously they're working towards uh, Secret Wars, which is another big thing. Um, and uh, the Kang Dynasty film as well, or the whole Kang thing, which is obviously Kang is in the new Ant Man film. Um. So yeah, I'm probably I probably might go and see that probably at some point either this weekend or whenever I've got a spare moment. Um. Today, however, obviously this week I've been at work as as per usual. Nothing of uh, significance there really. Um, just working. Um, so today I've actually got two days off from work extra this week, mostly because I've got a doctor's appointment, and I just thought, fuck it, I was going to take a couple of days holiday um, to make it an extra long weekend. Um, I'm still going to get paid, so there's no harm done really, and I'll still go back to work and finish off the week. Um, but just, uh, just thought I just needed a break. You know what I mean? Hello, so hello, socks. Yes, you're on YouTube. Yes, you're on YouTube. <laughs> Mad cat always got to be there and the center of attention. <sighs> but anyways. So yeah, um, so that's pretty much been my week, just work really, and uh, obviously people would have been would have noticed I haven't really been posting or uploading very much. This is actually the first video I've posted. I don't know how, how long. Um, I think part of it is the reason why I've, I've kind of slowed down is. I don't think my videos are reaching the people that used to watch me, and it's a mixture of different things. Um, like some people just tune out of YouTube, or they're just uh, too much, or they're not too much, but they're probably gone elsewhere. So you know, their attention's gone to a different reviewer or a different, different person that makes videos on YouTube. And uh, come on, go down, go down. Um. So yeah, you know, it's, it's like a mixture of different things, and also other people have got other got other got stuff going on in their lives as well. 
So, you know, it's like a mixture of different things. But it's just, I think part of the reason why my creative thing's gone is is that even though I enjoy making videos and enjoy sharing them and still I still enjoy the whole like, thing of it, um, it's just, I feel like nobody's really watching the stuff I'm putting up, even though, you know, people do, I, I do know people that watch me and know me and everything through doing these videos. Um, you know, do, and I still, I still vocal, um, that they do enjoy, still do enjoy them. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I can say, it's one of those things, it's just a creative, uh, like a creative, one of those things, you know, a creative looks, uh, looks. I can't even think of anything to, I can't even think, speak words. Um, but yeah. I just thought to dust off the camera, let people know I'm I'm all right, I'm still alive. Uh, those of you that actually do still watch my vlogs, um, I think my vlogs is stat is probably my, my, my vlog videos probably get a hell of a lot less of views these days than they used to. But anyway, what can you do? Um, you know. Um, but yeah, but what can you do? What can you do? It's just one of those things, isn't it? You know, you, you, these things happen. I've I've gone through these creative lulls. Um, there was a one time where I actually, um, there was one time where I actually was actually going to quit YouTube at one point. Um, I just got into just got it into my head. I think I, I think I hit a bit of depression. Um, at one point. Um, well, I won't say one point. Um. I wouldn't say one point, you know, there's been a, obviously, you know, many of you that know me and watch my stuff know that I do suffer from depression and anxiety. Um, but at that one point, I just generally think I'd kind of got all sorts of thoughts going through my head at one point And I just thought, you know what, I just feel I can't be asked to collect anymore. Um, I can't, but can't be asked to make videos anymore. So I did actually go on a little bit of hiatus, but then I started. Uh, I think I went back. I think it. Well, I went to TFN that year. Um, or was it? No, it would have been Auto Assembly that year. It was before TFN even was a thing, so it would have been Auto Assembly. Uh, so I ended up talking into, talking to people, and they were like, "I bet you come back, Nolsey. I bet you come back. You know, I love the videos. I bet you come back. I, I put, I bet money on it. You'll come back." And uh, some people must have got a payday bonus out of me with uh, betting and everything about me coming back, and I did. <laughs> I ended up coming back, but it's one of the things. I mean, like I say, I'm never gonna go away completely, hundred percent. I'm not gonna be one of these people on YouTube that just disappear for about four years and then come all, all of a sudden like hey, i'm back um i'm not going to be one of them people but i mean obviously there's a reason why they've been gone for four years but you know um but that's not going to be me you know i am going to try try and come back as much as i can and when i've got spare time i mean end of the day life is for living it's not about just this just talking to yourself or talking to a camera and hoping somebody actually sees it in the end but um it's not all about that it's it's about living life and uh, being with family and friends and making memories and going away and doing whatever you what makes you feel happy um that's the whole point of the existence your existence and existence in general um as well as working as well because unfortunately you can't you can't enjoy life and exist and do all this and the other without money um, even though you can do some stuff without money, but uh, for the most part, you know, if you really want to enjoy yourself, <laughs> you, you need money behind you, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be today's vlog. Uh, just to let people know uh, what I've been up to, um, where what I've been doing. Um, I guess I will be back again soon um I f like i said the vlog side of stuff i want to try and keep going because i I, lo I love making the vlogs um the reviews i am going to still make reviews of like i say, I've, I've got figures out the ass at the moment um I don't know some people might be a bit disturbed by that oh figures up the ass that's not a good idea 
No, it's not. Um, but no, you know, I've I've literally got figures coming out my ass or going up my ass, whatever you want to call it. I'm probably gonna get banned. YouTube's probably gonna ban me now. Um, for that. But yeah, I jest. But yeah, so I've got you know I've got loads of figures piled up that I just have not really bothered with. Um, even though I love the figures, I bought them for a reason, and but that some of them are open and they're on display in my glass cabinet upstairs. Uh, some figures are literally still in box and have been there for months, and I just can't be asked to open the fucking things and play with them. So, so it's it's one of those things. It's a, it, I just can't even be bothered to really indulge in the in the toys, even though I love the toy and I love the character and so on. But yeah, I just can't be asked to even take it out of the box to put it on the shelf somewhere. Um, but yeah, I've got some figures still in box, some stuff that's been open for probably over a year um but i just haven't even made a video about um or, or, or made a video on whatever review but uh but anyway so i you know i digress um i will uh try and come back and get my ass in in gear and uh you know probably get some reviews out soon um, like I say, I'm not at work on Monday and Tuesday next week. So, like I say, I've got an extra couple of days. So maybe, because one, I don't have a, I've got an early morning doctor's appointment, unfortunately, because, you know, one thing I just want to say, this, this is a vlog, it's, it, it, you know, vlogs, the, you know, this is why I make vlogs, because it's open. Um, one more, much more open than the videos I do for my other channel, anyway. But, yeah, uh... One thing that annoys me with um, with my doctors, I don't know if it's just job doctors in general, but but yeah, I've got a doctor's appointment, and you know, even though I didn't, I don't really have to take the day off for it. I can still get to work in a good enough time or whatever. But but it's just part of me where it really annoy. What annoys me with my doctors or my my doctor's practice, GP, whatever, um, is. I think I can't remember what it even is. My dad said you got a doctor's appointment because they called while I was at work, which is typical, um, and left a message with my dad. Um, and uh, yeah, just kind of, um, you know, obviously I work four day weeks, as I've mentioned in the past. I work four day weeks, and. Um, I try my damnedest to get in on a Friday. It's still a weekday. Doctors still work a Friday. Um, it is still, you know, part of the week. You know, most people work Fridays. I know I don't, but everybody pretty much works a Friday. Um, so I try and keep Fridays... I always keep my Fridays uh, separate because obviously Fridays at my work are optional. It's an overtime day if you wish to, to, to work. So, but not everybody. You don't have to go in because it is literally like a skeleton crew thing. Um. Uh, so I I keep my Fridays open for appointments. If I if say my dent a dentist appointment or something comes up and I need to maybe my car need, is up for MOT or whatever or you know something like that. I have a, I have a, I always have a free day during the week. Yes. You know, there's the weekend as well, but doctors' surgeries usually are open on a on a Saturday or over a weekend. So Friday during the week is literally the day that I have set free set set every week every week except for Christmas because Christmas is different. Um, for Christmas I always have to work a Friday, but that's most obviously for the obvious reason it is Christmas, busiest time of the year or point of the year. Um, but. The point is, the Friday is always a designated day for appointments, for like doctors and whatever. And uh, but yeah, for some reason, they don't like it. They're like, no, sorry, you can't come in on the Friday because the nurse isn't in to do bloods and to do this. And I'm like, for fuck's sake, you're a doctor's surgery. Is it no? Is there no wonder why people are pissed off with fucking GP doctors' practices? Um, it might just be, it might just be, it might be a universal thing for all I know, but I don't know. It's just it annoys me that I've literally got to mess around on a Monday morning, 
um, try and get an earliest appointment possible on the on the on uh, on the Monday morning, uh, just to go to doctors for something like a little blood t sample test because I, I every year I've got to, I've got to go for um, for the got the one I always want to take some blood off me, bloody blood blood sucking vampires, uh, <laughs> uh, to kind of just do a random. Um, you know, regular tests just make sure everything's all right. Um, so yeah, so I don't know if it's that I've got to go to or if it's just a health check, um, an annual health check thing with a doctor. I've no idea. I'll soon find out when I go on Monday. Um, so yeah, I, mean, I think it's because as well because I'm asthmatic. Um, I always have a I have a annual checkup on my asthma asthma, um, and I also um. Obviously, you know that kind of thing. So for some reason, um, you know, I have to, I always, I have to have I usually, usually per year, and probably at the doctors maybe two or three times a year, um, not for anything bad. It's just for some, you know, because of results, anything that's maybe shown up, say if like my electrolytes are a bit low in the blood sample, or if the, you know, you know, usually I'm always having to go back and forth and. It, yeah. Anyway, I know I'm, I'm y yammering on. I apologise, but it's just doctors annoying me. Or at least my doctor's doctor's place annoys me. Um, but anyways, um, I bet that was enlightening for you to watch. Uh, but yeah, that's just the mindset I'm in at the moment. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> just can't be bothered with life in general at the moment. Um, but yeah. But anyway, so I'm gonna. Enjoy the rest of my Friday evening. I don't know what what else I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna try and finish all of Wednesday tonight because it is something that I've uh, started, never finished, and everybody's been talking about it and raving about it. Uh, so I want to finish off, finish Wednesday off, and then uh, see what else is uh, on the cards, and then uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend as well. Um, but anyway. Thank you for watching, even though this vlog started off okay, promising, and then it kind of went down the shitter at the, by the end. But anyways, but that's the point of vlogs. You know, that oh, that's the point of why I made this channel, is if I can't get stuff off my... If I can't let get certain stuff out that's annoying me, then I might as well just fucking stop now. Um, because, end of the day... That's the whole point of why I made this channel in the per in the first place. It's for chat. It's for discussion. It's for expression uh, on stuff on things that are not any I've got any sort of relative or any sort of don't have anything to do with transformers or what I've been doing on my other channel. So that's the whole goddamn point of why this channel is here, is because I can be a bit more freer with what I want to talk about and express. Um, some people probably watching from the inside looking in probably don't understand what the point of this channel is but I know some of you do and that's the reason why I keep making videos because I know there's people out there that get this channel and get what I'm doing and that's what drives me to keep going um, but anyway thank you ever so much for watching and uh, I shall try and come back uh, I'll come um, make more vlogs and videos soon um i want i would like to do a live stream this weekend actually i might maybe do one on sunday um i might do a live stream on sunday um evening um seeing as i'm not at work on the monday uh, i know i'm at doctors in the morning but that's only that's only doctors so it don't really matter so much uh well it does but you know what i mean um so yeah i might consider i might think about i might then I might do a live stream on Sunday, um, but yeah, uh, I shall let I shall see how that goes. Anyway, thank you. See you soon, everybody, uh, and uh, enjoy your evening and weekend wherever you are. And uh, see you soon.